y'all. Jay down here. I called it. Rickin' called it. Kale. Music. Song. Dude has an instrument as his weapon. Freaking beautiful. And this dude is so much better than I expected. This is the best part of this entire event, bar none, hands down. This guy's going to be a staple in everybody's Green Tower team. I freaking guarantee it. Skills are amazing. He's even cool looking. The name fits, right? Chef's Kiss. Very good. Very good. So this guy is a godsend, especially in my situation. I was looking for somebody for Green Tower, pull a shield off, give some defense. Wow. He's just a good champion. All right, defense down and some damage on an A1. Decent A1 with a 200% attack damage modifier. Not bad. This A2, though, removes shield and has a big-ass whopping multiplier on that damage. Oh, yeah. And then if you exclusive in one, which shouldn't be hard because you can get those epic eyes, man, he even shields. He's already, with just these two abilities, just par excellence. I could not be happier with this champion. Now this one's a little bit interesting, you have to really get into there, figure out what it's about. But consuming part of his HP and transferring it to a layer of Vampire's Curse when he's hit with a control effect. Alright? And then it's no longer active when there are five layers of the curse. And it increases all the damage taken by 25%. So it's like, instead of getting controlled, he just puts it into this, but takes more damage. It's... Very convoluted, but it's not even anything that I'm looking at it for. Then you get to his A4. He grants immortality at the same time as he gives attack up to all the heroes in your team on a four-turn cooldown. Oh, this dude is the complete package, and he needs to be in your Green Tower team. Get this hero. Kaol is where it is flipping at. And when I first saw him today and saw that instrument on there, I was just like, yep, called it. Yeah, you definitely need to get yourself this hero. Very, very good. While we're here, let's just take a look at the other one. This one's more exclusive to get. Everybody's going to get KO, which is amazing, amazing. Now this one looks pretty sweet. I actually love this whole thing, right? It's going on. He's got a weird kind of candy bomb mechanic where he detonates his own bombs, right? It's got a decent multiplier on there. We'll have to see how much damage those candy bombs actually do. It's got piercing on the bomb, so that's pretty cool. And he can inflict targets when he survives. So, starts throwing explosive candy around. That's actually, it's neat. It's really neat, but I'll have to see how it does to see if he's really versatile. I don't really see him filling any roles that you can't get elsewhere. He just looks... Absolutely freaking cool. Like, getting this is just getting one of those, like, sweet, like, holiday themes. Just like, yeah, I got it. Right? But still, utility-wise, nothing compared to Kale. Kale is the real deal. I'm super freaking excited to get this guy. Super freaking excited. All right, y'all. I've been J-Town. I'll see you in-game.